Welcome into the 49ers Report here on Chat Sports. I am your host, Chase Sr., and our boy, our quarterback, Trey Lance, is getting dragged through the mud on social media, especially on Twitter. But the 49ers Report by Chat Sports, we are fans of Trey Lance. It's time to come to the defense of Trey Lance because people think he's out here in his offseason workouts wearing a bra, but that's not the case. These pictures have been floating around on Twitter of Trey Lance wearing a GPS tracking device. It's pretty common practice for football players, basketball players, soccer players, professional athletes to wear these during their off-season workouts because, hey, hashtag sports science. It's a thing. It tracks your movement, tracks your heart rate, tracks how your body is feeling tracks how you're doing in your workouts and basically compiles all of that data so that whoever's tracking that data is able to see how that respective athlete is doing. So no, Trey Lance is not rocking a bra. This is a GPS tracking monitor. And some of the replies that I've seen to this tweet on Twitter have just been brutal. People are saying, is Trey Lance wearing a sports bra? The Niners decided to go with this cat at number three in the NFL draft, there's no way he's going to be a franchise quarterback. Other replies, some are pretty catchy and funny, saying this is rookie hazing right here. They got the rookie during his offseason workouts in the heart of summer wearing a bra. Now, I'm not going to lie, I first saw this picture on Twitter last night on Monday as we record this on a Tuesday, and I'm like, uh-oh. This could open up some avenues for people to make fun of Trey Lance, but I actually know that this is a GPS tracker and that it's very popular for athletes to rock these things. Other, chi other people chiming in saying, yo, WTF, what is bra doing? He's rocking a bra? This is actually good news because this goes to show you that Trey Lance is putting in a bunch of off-season work. And this also is further clarification that Twitter is an absolute cesspool. It's an awful place. It's a place of negativity. People go to Twitter and I call them keyboard thugs because they'll go on Twitter and they'll try to say something mean. But in reality, when you meet them in person, they'll never actually say anything to your face. When I look at Lance... I'm seeing a 6'3", 6'4", dude who's 225 pounds. He runs like a 4'4", He's got a rocket launcher for an arm. And he's putting in that work this offseason. I think he's just getting ready to shred. That's what comes to mind when I see this. He's teaming up with guys like Quincy Avery, world-renowned quarterback coach. He's training with GPS monitors, which is really, really advanced stuff. Usually back in the day, organizations would make you wear these things during practices, and then they would look at that data to kind of figure out your practice plans for the next day, the next week, to see how your human body is reacting to that workload. Trey Lance has taken this upon himself. That's really what it comes down to. So I think he is getting ready to shred. So with that, I do want to pose this question for you all because Trey Lance, it's a tough time for him right now. People are just slandering his name, but this is a pro Trey Lance channel here on YouTube. Here on the 49ers Report, we've been supporting the pick of Trey Lance ever since he was selected number three overall in the 2021 NFL Draft. So I will continue to sit here and defend Trey Lance. Is it the greatest look in the world to be rocking something that's like looking like a brawl? Uh, not really all that much, but... Uh, Trey Lance is really just doing what a lot of professional athletes should be doing, and that is getting in that offseason conditioning so that he's ready for his first NFL training camp. So, Producer Perry, why don't you pull up the question that we want to ask the faithful and the 49ers fans here. Is Trey Lance wearing a sports brawl? Chime in right now. Get your votes in in the comment section. Type B for yes, it's a brawl. Type H for hell nah. I'm going ahead, I'm defending Trey Lance and submitting my H. So what that vest actually is, as I mentioned, a GPS tracker. 
And it comes from the company Stat Sports. And this is actually called the Apex Vest. The Apex Vest is a lightweight and tight-fitting garment specifically designed to hold your Apex Pod, which is that tracking service, with a unique ergonomic Apex pocket located on the back and an elastic tight finish band to secure the vest. Your game day kit will be complete with the Stat Sports Apex Vest. So there you go. That's what it is. It's a GPS tracking monitor. You don't have to have any questions about Trey Lance's toughness. He's really just preparing for his first NFL training camp. And since Seahawks accounts are quote tweeting this and saying, you guys decided to draft him at number three, let's show Trey Lance some love here on the 49ers report. And let's just purchase his jersey. You can get free shipping on one of these three jerseys right now by going to chatsports.com slash tray. You can get the 75th anniversary patch on the Scarlet Red Uni. You can even go with the black jersey, maybe even the white jersey. Free shipping right now thanks to our friends at Fanatics, the presenting sponsor of today's show, by going to chatsports.com slash tray. That link is in the description of this video. I'll tell you what, can't wait for NFL training camp to get underway. And as part of my research to get ready for the upcoming season, the past few years I've been reading Warren Sharp's previews because they take deep dives into analytics. They have fascinating statistical nuggets. He previews every single team across the NFL. And of course, this year he did the same with the Niners. And he looked into the Niners quarterback situation, and I came away from reading it with some takeaways. It appears as though Kyle Shanahan was influenced by the Rams as well as the Seahawks to move up to number three to take Trey Lance. This is why, because this is what he had to say in that preview from Warren Sharp. Seattle trades two first-round picks away for safety Jamal Adams. This is coming from Kyle Shanahan, a very good one at that. The Rams had done it for a corner. They've done it for a quarterback, Matthew Stafford. So you're watching all this stuff. That's why I didn't see it as monumental as everyone else did. I probably would have made this trade 10 years ago. I've watched people make these decisions the last two years, and it's grown on me. I'm like, this isn't the biggest risk in the history of football, like I always thought growing up, just watching and assessing what the Rams and Seattle have. So when we knew we could move up to get a QB, it pumped me up, especially to do it early, so then you can lay out a plan and which direction you want to go. And it's easy to see why Shanahan wanted to move up to number three, to have a quarterback who's more available, who has a skill set, because... When Kyle Shanahan has had a healthy and available quarterback at his disposal, he's been a phenomenal head coach. These numbers with and without Jimmy Garoppolo are pretty wild. Shanahan's record with Jimmy G under center, 24-9. and Without Jimmy G and guys like C.J. Beathard as well as Nick Mullins, that record falls to 7-27. and The offense is also a touchdown better without uh, with Jimmy Garoppolo as compared to without him. With Jimmy G, Kyle Shanahan's offenses have averaged north of 28 points per game. Without him, that number drips dramatically to 20 points per game. And his record, it backs all of this up. This is why I think there's some pressure on Shanahan going into year five. I'm not going to go ahead and say he's on the hot seat, but there's certainly pressure for Shanahan because let's be real. Jed York is the owner of the 49ers. Owners of professional sports franchises aren't the most patient people. They want to see results. They want to see victories. And eventually, if those wins and victories don't come and there's a lack of success, there are going to be changes made. I don't think the Niners are there yet. I don't even think if they go 6-10 and 10 this year that they're going to arrive at that decision. But next year, if they follow up another losing season this year with a bad record the following year, then we might be able to have this conversation. Conversation. Shanahan's 49ers record. 2017 when he took the job, 6 and 10. 2018, 4 and 12. 2019, the Super Bowl year, 13 and 3. Last year because of injuries, it dropped to 6 and 10. The 49ers overall under Kyle Shanahan during this regime, 29 and 35. It's simply not good enough. The results have been up and down. I think Kyle Shanahan is one of the best and smartest coaches across the league. I cannot continue to praise him enough. Also, with the quarterback spot, Kyle Shanahan, he wanted Trey Lance because he wants an available starter who is also healthy and talented. Trey Lance at North Dakota State, 
He's been all three of those. He's been available, he's been healthy, and he possesses a lot of talent. And if Kyle Shanahan is able to have a consistent option at the quarterback position with no clear ceiling and unlimited upside, he will have the ability to take the NFL over and that under 500 record will reverse and the Niners will have a lot of success. Warren Sharp on Kyle Shanahan, kind of feeling some pressure, had to say this in that preview. I love Kyle Shanahan as a coach. I think he's one of the best offensive minds in our game. The 49ers are 29 and, 29 and 35. That's a 45% winning percentage since Kyle Shanahan was hired in 2017, winning six games or less in three of those four years. In just two of the last eight years, he's had an offense ranked better than 20th in points scored. And when he, at, when he has had an offense that's ranked higher than that, they absolutely kick ass. Both years they've made the Super Bowl with the Falcons, with the 49ers. But then when they haven't, they rank below average in point production, and they don't even produce a winning record. Faithful, predict it for me. Are the Niners going to have a winning record in 2021? Vegas has set their over-under for win total at 10.5. I think they're going to win 11 games in the 17-game schedule. Let me know what you're thinking, though. Type 1 for yes, they'll have a winning record. Type 2 for you think they won't. Make sure you subscribe to the 49ers report because let's be honest, right now we're in the desert in terms of NFL coverage because there's nothing going on, especially when the Niners decide to cancel OTAs as well as uh, mini camp. But with training camp right around the corner, we're going to be upping our coverage. So either hit that red subscribe button down below or go to youtube.com slash 49ers TV so you can stay up to date with the best 49ers news and rumors. Before we get out of here, are the Niners overrated? Speaking of that win total, CBS Sports thinks the Niners are one of the four most overrated teams going into 2021. A few reasons for that. They're worried about Jimmy Garoppolo's health. Who isn't? Another concern that they have, losing Robert Sala. I actually don't think it's going to be a massive miss. Uh, I think D'Amico Ryans is going to be able to step in and be a very good D.C., Here's what CBS Sports had to say about the Niners being one of the more overrated teams in the National Football League. If Garoppolo does go down, the Niners may throw Lance into the deep end a bit earlier than they may want. It's also worth noting that a rookie quarterback has never won a Super Bowl and hasn't ever been able to reach the big game. Essentially, you'd be asking Lance to make NFL history right out the gate if he's thrust in as the starter at on any point. If the Niners are healthy, they're going to be able to compete for the NFC West. They're going to be able to compete for the NFC. They're going to be able to compete for a Super Bowl just like they did in 2019. It simply comes down to health. Now, over the last several years, they've been one of the more off-injured teams across the league. But at some point, the luck has to be on the 49ers' side, right? Hopefully it is this year. CBS Sports, they're saying that the Niners are overrated. So much slander on today's show directed towards the Niner gang. Do you think the Niners are overrated? Type O for overrated, type U for underrated, type P for properly rated. Let me know down below.